Hi, North Lake family. Pastor Jeff here. And this Sunday, October 29th, will be the Sunday that we refer to as Consecration Sunday. That uh, means to render something sacred or holy. And really, what that means is the offering of ourselves to God. So at the end of each of the three services, we'll invite anyone who would like to come forward uh, to come to the communion table or in our contemporary service to the table that will be at the front. Some of you, hopefully many of you, will have cards with you and envelopes containing uh, your, uh, your, your idea of what you would be able to give and plan to give to North Lake to the operating fund in 2024. I've tried to explain to you in writing and again in worship that your pledge or estimate of giving for 2024 helps us planning for the budget, to think ahead about what's realistic and what would we be able to do. Because the more you're giving, the more our ministries and mission flourish. And so we'll have that as one of our objectives with Consecration Sunday, bringing those cards forward. And many of you have already mailed them in or dropped them off at the office, and that's still a great way to do it. If walking forward is difficult for you, you can simply leave it in an offering plate at the back of the sanctuary or the worship space for the 930 service. I think what I want to make sure you know is that this is not only about our dollars. Now, they're important. Make no mistake about that. But it's also about our desire to give ourselves to the Lord. And we'll continue to pick up on the Romans chapter 12, verse 1, theme of offer your bodies as a living sacrifice to God. And in fact, I'm standing here in front of a communion table, but in some traditions, they refer to it as an altar, which historically goes along with sacrifice. So we'll talk more about that in our worship. But I, I hope that you want to consecrate or offer yourself to God. And there'll be an opportunity to do that this coming Sunday in worship at all three services. Since I am saying something about money in this message, I, I just want to commend North Lake. You know, long before I arrived here, North Lake Church had a tremendous history of giving and has continued to be a marvelous example of Christian generosity. There are at least two major ways in which we do that. I picked up the offering plate here just as a reminder that we have an operating fund that, that covers our electricity, it covers all the utilities, our staffing costs, and, and all the ministry expenses that we face. But we also have second mile offerings, and people have designated gifts for many years to support our big three, to support... Um, Things like Operation Christmas Child. And thanks to those of you who have taken boxes and filled them and brought them back. And we can still do that for a couple more weeks into November before they are packaged and blessed and sent off around the world. But my point is, we have a great heritage of giving faithfully. We want to continue and build on that heritage. And frankly, the second mile offering was our attempt five years ago or so to be even more organized. So we weren't asking for many different things simultaneously. So that we would spotlight something and be able to say to you with, with uh, focus, here's what we're doing and here's why we're doing it as we go month by month through the year. So obviously, October, November, because they stra the, the op uh, Operation Christmas Child straddles two months, um, it's, it's necessary to have that time for the collection of them and then the dedication and sending them off before Thanksgiving. So that's where we are. And uh, I appreciate so much the giving that occurs for the operating fund of North Lake, as well as for the mission and the ways that we reach people in the name of Jesus Christ around the world and around our own community. Thank you so much. May the love of Christ continue to shine through this congregation.